Shut up and sit down. Hello folks, Colin here, Vesta 67's workshop. Welcome to issue 8 of the build of the iconic Ford Falcon XBGT from our good old friends over at Hashat. Now if you want to grab this for yourselves and build along with me this beautiful one ape scale car, head over to this link here. There's a clickable version in the description below and take out a subscription for this absolutely stunning vehicle so let's have a scoop through the magazine and see what we got we've got two more panels together with the window winder and the armrest that are going to be fitted to your door so you're going to need the door from the previous issues that we've been working on i've got mine just there so i'm going to put that nice and safe at the back for the moment this is all the parts we've got. We've got the handle, the winder handle, armrest, etc. Plus on the closing panels for the trim. Okay. Really is straightforward. Just pushing the parts on. Using the screws provided in this issue. And then what you'll end up with at the end of this is a nice completed door, folks. Okay. So that's what you're going to have at the end. Uh, next up, you've got language of customization ready for treatment. Some more custom cars there that people are building. Loads of different stuff. Got all the different styles of vehicles that uh, are in the categories of custom cars. And it's really quite uh, interesting. You know, classic ones like the Rack Fink, Ed Roth, things like that. People know. You've got Woodies, sedans, post sedans, rag top, muscle cars, all kinds of stuff. Give it a read, folks. Might help you identify a certain genre as a custom car. This was the bucket list about two older men being told I have terminal cancer, which doesn't sound like it ought to be a comedy, but it is. And it tells you a bit about the film there in the background. Okay, there's Morgan Freeman there. The man with the best narrating voice in the world. Up there with James Earl Jones, mate. And then that's that issue done, folks. So we're going to flip back so that we can find our parts and then we can lay them all out. We can start a bit of assembly for you. I've got some PSO5 screws here, so we'll just cut them open. Our scalpel there. Put the blade away, cut. Just protect yourself. I mean, any spares of these I'll put in my little screw caddy. Always pays to have all your spares together and then we got the winder handle as well so let's just open that back up right first things first we want the arm and this panel and we want to spin it round put the arm in place and then we'll be fixing that together like so just make sure i've got it in the right place Tiny hole at the top there. You've got a tinsy wincy little pin on the arm. And it goes in there. Drop that in the recess. Press it fully in. And then when we spin it round, we've got our screw going in there. So let's grab that. Pop a bit of oil on. Just like so. And then we'll screw that in. Just like that. So that's that in situ now. It's got like a nice little leverette texture on this, which is quite pleasing actually. We then grab our door from our previous issue, which is just here off shot. Just make sure everything's in place, which it is. Give that a little more of a nip. There you go. And then we just press that in place just like that. Put loads of little tabs, work your way around the door. There's one there, and then there's one there. Like so. And then just go around your edges, check that all the tabs are in, and then wipe off any excess oil so that's that panel in place like so 
can still get to all of your mechanism, which is good. And then we're basically saying before fitting the panel, make sure the medium cog is at the correct angle, which is there or thereabouts. Okay. And then we can put the handle in place, folks. Okay. So let's just line that up, pop that in place, and then just let that engage in the little Woodruff key, like so. And there you go. That's your window going down. And your window going up. You're <laughs> cute, isn't it? So that's that done. We've got a little trim piece just like this that is now going to go and close off the bottom part of this door where these screw holes are, folks. Okay. So let's grab that, line the tabs up, and then just work them in like so. That's that one in. And going the bottom one there, and then the last one up in the middle. And that's them all in place. So there you've got the inside of your door all finished off now. And I do think she looks rather nice, doesn't she? Look at that. Okay. There you go. So, folks, if you want to grab this and build this car with me, head over to this link all the way along here. It's in the description below as well. And head over to Hache and grab this for yourselves. I don't think you'll be disappointed, folks. Okay? In the meantime, to help me out, if you can just go and click this little fester just there, that will take you to the YouTube channel there and subscribe. That really helps me grow the content. And to be notified of future content, just ring the bell as well, folks. Until then, thank you so much for coming in and keeping me company. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Stay safe and well. Bye-bye for now.